Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyheidi.wordpress.com back again with another Sunday scoring project and this time it's a masculine card and it's my take on a toolbox pop-out card so when you take it out in the envelope it's a 6x4 card but open it up and you'll see it's a tool chest um, so I, I thought this was great fun uh, because we've got a couple of new stamp sets in the uh, autumn and winter, autumn and winter, spring and summer catalogue and this one is called Nail It, obviously designed for Father's Day but a really useful um, set and it's a real keeper. Um, I shan't be getting rid of this even if it does retire um, at, in June um, because I just think it's so useful for all sorts of masculine um, or feminine cards for people who like DIY or perhaps a new home card where somebody's going in to um, do a lot of renovations as well. So that's the stamp set I've used for uh, the tools and then for the sentiment, this best guy ever, this is another stamp set and that is in the suite. So this is sweet sentiment. So this is designed to match with the um, different fonts that go with the spring and summer catalogue. Um, so you'll see this one here is obviously designed for, um, for this one but you, I've used uh, this on a recent project and they all coordinate so this is for the cupcakes and carousels, um, the sending love suite, um, so there's lots of things but again a useful one, congratulations graduate, um, everyone needs a friend like you so again really useful stamp sets. So on with the card. Um, so because we're making it uh, six by four, we're going to need two pieces of card, which are four by six and a half inches or 16 by 10 centimeters. And you're going to score on the long edge at two and six inches, which is five and 15 centimeters. And then on the one piece of card, you're going to score straight down the middle at two um, inches, five centimetres, and on the second piece, because you don't want to score on the back uh, piece, once you've scored your two, that's your five centimetres, and your six, when you turn it through, you're going to score on the short section only. So you get a piece like that. So that's going to be your back panel for the back there. So um, once you've done that, you're going to do some trimming. And um, what I recommend here is that you come in and you cut slightly to the side of, um, of these. So you want a really nice and neat. And I actually, on these, have actually cut out that score line just to give a slight gap. Okay, so you've done it on that one and on this one, that's going to be your back. So just work out which is going to be your front. So this is where it's going to join. So you're cutting away this top section here. And you're cutting down either side. So you have two pieces like that and then you're going to join those pieces. So fold and burnish our um, score lines now and remember these are going to fold out so we're going to fold them with the score line first before we fold them out. So with the score line, with the score line on this one and with the score line. So this is going to be your back piece. I'll get it right in a moment. There you go. There's your back piece. And this is going to be your front. So there you go. You're going to join them on either end here. So all you need to do now is put some tape or your fast fuse on the outside here. And line that up. And then do exactly the same on this one here. And what you're actually going to do then 
is fold it so that it folds flat. Keep it nice and flat like so. Okay, so there's your basic card, which then folds like so. Reinforce those creases so that they do really flop open and make the tool chest. And then we're going to come in and I'm going to corner round using um, the corner rounder punch on all of those edges. So you could do that before you make it into the card. Um, just pop in and in there, and the last two. Okay. So to decorate the back, you're going to need a piece of card which is three and three quarters by one and three quarters, so 4.5 by. 9.5 we're going to corner round and then I'm going to use one of the stamps from the stamp set with some smoky slate and that's just going to stamp these lovely little nails on the background there and obviously you, you, you could add as much or as uh, little in the way of embellishment so what I've done is I have die cut some of these um, screws and um, They've got lovely detail on them. I've picked up my Tombow that is empty. This is one where you are going to need a, 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 a wet glue of some sort because you're going to just need to put a few dots on there. And again, I usually leave it to one side to um, sort of, so it's not quite so runny. You could use our fine tipped glue for this or you could obviously um, use a, another glue that you've got. So often what I'm doing when I'm doing these um, it's really useful to have um, your piercing tool on hand because actually what you can do is just pick that up on the reverse and pop it in. Doesn't want to play. Okay. Now to make the um, the saw on this card here you'll see what I've actually done is I have stamped and die cut and then I've used my aqua painter or a blender pen to pick up some ink and colour that in so that's one way you could make these um, die so I thought I'd show you a different way here which is to stamp and die cut on some smoky slate which I've then watercoloured as well and then stamp and die cut on a scrap of real red as well and then just cut that out and adhere it to the front so that gives you a slightly different um, finish depending on how you feel about sort of watercolouring obviously gives you a, and it gives you a bit of dimension as well a bit of texture on there so all we're going to do now is pop that onto our back panel like so and then with our glue obviously it is slightly raised so you're going to need to just be slightly gentle and that will then layer onto the back panel here like so then I've done the same with the hammer and the screwdriver and what we need to do now is attach our, our pop-ups to the middle section you can see here so you get that dimension so I've cut two strips of card and these are five by one inch scored at half an inch and four and a half inches or twelve by one and a half scored at one and eleven and just by hand you can just fold those so they make a zigzag shape and what I usually do with these is I just roll very very slightly just with my fingers there because obviously it's going inside a four inch aperture uh, 10 centimeters so it will be slightly narrower so what you don't want is for it to be um, too um, rigid so carefully pop some glue on either of the tabs this is where tear and tape is actually a good idea um, and when you're fitting it into here I fit at the very back there and then I just line up on the far edge and if you do it very gently 
and then fold it flat, you will find you'll get a good, um, uh, the, the, the right, um, the right spacing. <laughs> so same again, so just a little bit of fuse on those two ends, taking care not to stick it um, to anything. And so you do want some fuse because you want to make sure that it's going to um, adhere well. And then again, the same, so you're going to just pop it in with the top and then come across and carefully just squeeze in there, keeping that lined up with the top. Okay, so there you go. So that one actually I, I didn't do very square, so it's stuck now, so I'm not going to worry about it. Nobody's going to be measuring. Um, and now all you need to do is attach your um, the items that you have stamped and die cut. So I've got my hammer here, which is going to go on that front one there, or the, the one towards the back. And then I've got a screwdriver here. So again, I'm just going to put a little bit of fuse on the bottom there and put that at an angle, like so. So that's our basic card. All that's left is for us to decorate these side panels. So for this panel, I've got a piece of Whisper White, which is one and three quarters by one and three quarters. So again, just corner around that. And then you can stamp your sentiment, again, in the smoky slate. So keeping to the same, um, same palette here. Just line that up. And then again, you can decorate that with a couple of screws. So that will go on our side panel here. And then on the front, rather than putting another Whisper White panel, I actually have um, just adhered the tools to the front there. So I've, again, stamped and die cut on smoky slate here, and I'm going to pop that up on a dimensional. But obviously you can use glue dots, and if you prefer, if you want to keep it a bit flatter, but actually it's it's reasonably, um, it folds so flat it will still go in a standard envelope, certainly here in the UK, although that may not be the case elsewhere. So we've got our screwdriver, and now all I'm going to do is I've again have die cut some of these little pieces here and I'm just going to come in and pop a little bit of glue on the reverse and the detail on these dies is absolutely fabulous um, you've actually still you've really got so the threads showing on on those um, on those screws And then what I've got is there's a, a ruler die in there as well. So I'm just going to pop that. So if you find that you um, put a little bit too much glue, all I would do is I would just come in with a scrap of card and just spread it out. That way you're not going to have this glue stuff going everywhere on your project. So pop the ruler down. We can adhere our sentiment on the side here. Like so. And then just pop in with another. So there. So in order to do the drawers, what I've done is I have uh, cut some basic black cardstock which is three and three quarters by one and seven eighths, and some real red on the front there, which is three and a half by one and three quarters. So that's 9.8 by 2.2 in centimetres and 9.4 by 1.8. Uh, 
So those, uh, I've done one already. And if you're wondering where I got those little circles from, there are a number of punches in the um, Stampin' Up! catalogue which have circles. I use the cookie cutter punch, but you could use the owl punch if you have that one, or just, you know, any other punch that you happen to have um, available. And to make the draw, it is simply the strips of card layered on top. With my, there is a um, screw head, which I did decorate um, the other original one with, but I thought actually, you know, it doesn't, um, it's up to you. It depends how much time you want to spend, whether you want to do anything extra. And then with the um, circles for the knobs, obviously you could put them on a, on a uh, dimensional if you wanted to make them stand out a little bit. I've just put a little bit of wet glue on the reverse there, but you could also use a glue dot if you wanted to not do what I've just done, which is smudge it everywhere. Uh, Stampin' Up! do a great eraser, which I will use on that once it's dry, um, which will get rid of that, that smudge as well. Okay, so in with our second drawer front. Just pop it on the front there. A bit of a wonky drawer, but hey, there we go. So, there you go. A masculine or feminine, a toolbox um, card with a pop-up with two ways of using those stamps uh, to get that tool effect, either with watercolouring on this one here or in this one here, stamping on coloured cardstock and then die cutting. Hope you've enjoyed this project. Come back and see me again soon and join in with uh, some more of my Sunday scoring or Ferrero Friday projects. And have a look at my online classes, which are available to um, those in the UK and certain countries in Europe. I'd love to have you on board. Uh, you get everything you, you um, need in the way of die cuts and all the materials to make uh, six different projects. So you, the cost of the, the kit is £45 plus your postage and packaging. But within that, you get six projects and £45 worth of goods. I hope you come and join me soon. Bye for now.